Good morning, members of the media, and welcome to the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service Weekly Media Brief. I am Michael Pierre, Acting Assistant Superintendent and Public Information Officer for the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service. Today we focus on traffic issues in Trinidad and Tobago, and I have with me Assistant Superintendent Kisun Badlu of the Traffic and Highway Patrol Branch. Mr. Badlu. Good morning, everybody. The Traffic and Highway Patrol Branch comprises the Debe Unit, Debe Highway Patrol Unit, the Aranguez Unit, Kumuto Highway Patrol Unit, and the Freeport Highway Patrol Unit. And we are responsible for patrols along the main highways in Trinidad, including the Beetham Highway, Audrey Jeffers Highway, Sir Solomon Ho Choi Highway, and the Churchill Roosevelt Highway. Speed exercise, speed exercises with the use of the speed, speed guns began in these units in May 2016. And, and at the end of 2016, a total of 11,294 tickets were issued for speeding. For the year thus far, 7,445 tickets have been issued with a value of $7,445,000. Officers of the branch also issued 5,503 tickets for varying traffic offenses and also performed 11,741 patrols. As of May 16, 2017, the Traffic at Highway Patrol branch has conduct conducted over 5,000 tests for breath alcohol readings, and 773 of those were found to be above the accepted level of 35 micrograms. Of that amount, 259 persons were charged. The other 514 were voluntary tests done in the sober zones at FETs and other events, such as the Point 14 Borough Day celebration. Additionally, officers in the branch, together with officers from the licensing authority, have established a truck compliance unit. This unit was established for, uh, for the 2017 Carnival celebrations. And we extended this initiative to the Point 14 Borough Day Juve celebrations. At that event, 38 trucks were inspected. 10 of such trucks were taken off the route for failing to comply with conditions of the parade route. 42 tickets were issued for varying offenses, as well as 33 calling notices were issued to persons to whom the motorists, the drivers whose vehicles were found defective in certain ways. And five persons were arrested over the, for DUI over the prescribed limit. So far for 2017, there were 33 fatal road traffic accidents, resulting in 36 deaths. This represents a 37% and 39% decline or reduction respectively when compared to the corresponding period in 2016. For that period, there were 52 fatal road traffic accidents and 59 deaths. The Traffic and Highway Patrol branch continue, continues to pursue the road safety campaign to educate persons on the practice of road safety throughout the year. We have conducted simulation exercises with members of the public during events such as in Diwali Nagar and, and such events. And we have also visited schools and other organizations in our drive to reduce road fatalities. Statistics show that the majority of RTAs occur between 9 p.m. and 12 midnight. So drivers are strongly advised to take precaution during this time and to do everything to remain alert. Some of these may include not drinking alcohol. If you're tired before you have to drive a long way, take a rest before attempting to drive or hitting the road. Limit anything that may cause a distraction. So eating and driving. May, that may be a distraction. Listen to music hard, it may be a distraction. If that proves to be a distraction to you, you should desist that before, while driving, especially during this period. You should be, the drivers should be especially alert for pedestrians in areas where lighting on the roadways, roadways are poor, since pedestrians so far account for 36% of road fatalities for the year. Avoid overtaking on corners and crests of hill. Obviously, your reaction time to persons crossing and other vehicles are limited. With the advent of the rainy season, we also urge vehicle owners and drivers to ensure that 
brakes are in proper working order. Your lights, be it your, your headlights, indicator lights are also in working order. Your tires, tires should be checked for unfair or, or uneven wear, as well as tires pressure, tire pressures, because the, we know that the hydroplaning has an effect on the braking system as well as uh, the ability to control your vehicle in, in wet conditions. Windshield, wi windshield wipers should also be checked and make sure they are proper and, and functioning, especially during hard and, hard and heavy showers. So these, with these tips, I want to urge drivers to observe the speed limit as well, especially in the rainy season.